people welcome to your number one cooking show on tv food clinic my name is blue and i'm your host for today so today we'll be making a very easy dish yet very rich and nutritious plantain and pepper sauce of course we all know plantain contains a very great antioxidant which includes vitamins a and c and of course these vitamins help your body to fight so many diseases so you see plantain is a very very nourishing and body helping um delicacy when we come back from this break i'll be introducing you to all our ingredients for this delicious delicacy stay tuned don't go anywhere Welcome back people. So right now I'm going to be introducing you to all our ingredients for this particular meal. Right here I have our plantain. I actually needed a nearly ripe plantain but this is fine as well. And here I have our pumpkin leaves known as the ugu leaf as well. So I have here our pepper to spice it up. Of course it is pepper sauce so we need pepper, lots of it. And here we have our salt for taste and we also have here our palm oil and here we have our seasoning cube and here also we have our onion so first and foremost i'm going to be cutting or peeling our plantains first and then I'll cut them into pieces put in our pots for boiling so some people actually boil their plantains with the peels but now for this particular dish I'm going to peel all the skin and then cut into pieces and put on fire and let it boil while we prepare our peppered sauce and I hear some people actually don't wash their plantains after peeling because they feel there's a covering on it already which is the back so they just remove the back and put in the pot and boil but I, I wash my plantains that's how it should be done actually after rubbing your hands on the peels of course the plantain is dirty and you use that same hand to hold the plantain so therefore i think you need to wash after peeling that's what i think but most people don't actually wash their plantains after peeling they just remove the skin and then put it straight up in the pot actually when frying they just take off the skin and then they start dicing then put salt all over it and straight to the frying pan but i wash my plantain after peeling whether for cooking or for frying i just need to wash it because i feel my hands are dirty already after touching the back of it so i just need it clean and that's why i have to wash I'm not saying it's a must, but it's, it's, it's what works for you that should go, actually. This is how I do mine, so I'm just citing an example. So I'm almost done with this. I'll just wash and put in the pot. I already have water in my pot so I'll just wash and then cut it's not so big so I'll just divide into two since they are not so big there's no need cutting them too small this size is perfect for it 
after then i'll just add a little salt to taste the water is much so i have to reduce it here we go i'll just add a pinch of salt to taste And then I cover and put it on fire to cook. So while that is on fire, I'm just going to clean up this area. I love to cook and clean. So my environment doesn't look dirty. I love to be neat. I love my kitchen clean. So I just have to clean and cook. As I cook, I clean. That's how I do my cook. So while we wait for that to cook, I'm going to be chopping our onions. It's washed already. So I'll just chop it into small pieces I don't cook anything without onions whatever it is I just have to use onions for my food because I know the health benefits of onions so I don't keep using onions for all my dishes no matter what it is the only thing I can use onions to do of course is to drink tea and that's all but any other thing I make sure I use onions because I know what it does for my body and for my eyes especially yes it's very very good for the eyes so that's one of the importance of using onions a lot of people say they don't like the smell of onions and they don't like the way it brings tears to their eyes and all that but they don't know the importance of it and that's why they say that or that's why they run away from onions if they know how important onions is to their body and to their eyes especially they won't do anything without putting onions in it and of course you can also eat fresh onions it mustn't be in your food you can just slice it up and then chew it just like that it's actually very very good for the body onions is really really good for the body so i'm done cutting this now it's time to move over to our vegetables so these are our ugu leaves otherwise known as pumpkin leaves so i'm just going to be chopping this and i've noticed lots of ladies actually cut this in the market like they go to the market and they want to buy ugu and the next thing is madam please help me cut it or i beg help me cut them it's not it's not supposed to be done that way you should buy your ugu leaves take it home wash properly and then you cut yourself you don't have to give it to those market women to help you cut because you don't even know the kind of water they use in washing those leaves you don't know the kind of knife if the knife is even infected with germs and all that you don't know you never can tell so i think it's healthy when you buy these leaves from the market you take it home yourself do the washing do the cutting do everything yourself that's what i do and i think it's advisable for we ladies to do same and of course you know ugu has so many benefits to the body it contains lots of nutrients and vitamins as well so i believe ugu should be one of your go-to leaves whenever you're cooking especially making sauces of course you can use ugu otherwise known as pumpkin leaves so one of the benefits of um, pumpkin leaves it actually gives blood to the body yes of course it does most times you just um, cut then you squeeze out the water you drain out the water from it and you drink it you can either drink it like that or you use something else like uh, milk you just add it together and then you drink it gives blood to the body it nourishes the body it makes your skin very very fresh i can testify to that that's just the fact so ugu or pumpkin leaves has so many health benefits that people overlook but we don't need to overlook it so one of the go-to leaves when you come to cooking should be pumpkin leaves so before we go into our frying i would just like to tell you some health benefits of the pumpkin leaves 
one of it is um, it helps soften the skin that's one of it of course I know that is is very true minerals and vitamins are very very good for the skin and of course it also helps in reducing colon cancer in the body it also helps to fight arthritis so those are a few of the so many health benefits pumpkin leaves gives to the body also it helps um, ladies in premenstrual syndrome it helps them reduce all those pains they feel before menstruation so those are one of the health benefits of pumpkin leaves so our plantain is boiling already so in a few minutes time we'll be frying our pepper sauce So one of the benefits of palm oil is it helps in fighting food poisoning. You know most times you take something that you're not supposed to eat or maybe someone poisons you and then the next thing they ask you to do is to drink lots of palm oil. I'm telling you it actually works because I've seen cases where this works. And also it also helps the hair to grow properly. It also helps to reduce high cholesterol in the body. Palm oil also helps to fight cancer oh yes it does palm oil actually also helps in making the skin fresh and very very nice looking nice and subtle so those are few of the so many health benefits of palm oil so right now i think our plantain is boiled already i think it's soft and ready to be brought down from fire and then as we do this i'm going to put our pan on fire to fry our pepper sauce so I'm just going to drain out the water from our plantain it's looking yellowish already looking all nice and ready to be eaten so it's now time to fry our pepper sauce so our pan is hot already I'm going to pour in our oil our palm oil inside And then I'm just going to let that bleach a bit before I add our pepper and onion as well. And of course, our seasoning cubes and salt to test. Vegetable will be the last thing to come in so it doesn't get too soft. It has to be greenish and fresh. That's how it should be. So I'll just let this bleach before I put in our other ingredients so our oil is bleached already i'm going to be putting on our onion first our onion is in already so next is our pepper of course it's pepper sauce so the pepper has to be pronounced of course it has to be peppery, really spicy. That's how you know it's pepper sauce. And then I'll be adding our seasoning cube to give it a nice, delicious fragrance. And our salt to taste, just a little bit of it. So it doesn't get too salty i'm going to be giving this a stir i'll just let this fry for a little while before i put in my vegetables because i don't want my vegetables to get too soft it has to be looking green and fresh This is actually a very easy dish to prepare very easy and cost friendly so our pepper is in here already and it's frying so like i said earlier this dish is cost friendly very easy to prepare and of course you know how plantain you know what plantain does for the body rather it helps diabetic patients especially on ripe plantain 
they advise diabetic patients to eat on ripe plantain a lot because it reduces and um, brings their body back to normal and helps to fight diabetes. So those are one of the health benefits of plantain. On ripe plantain is very good for the body. We are not saying the ripe one is bad. Both actually have their own um, uses or advantages in the body. So this is well fried already. So I'm just going to add our pumpkin leaves to it. And then in just a few seconds, I'll bring this down because I don't want our leaves to get too too soft I want it greenish and fresh so I think this is ready already I'm going to taste for salt perfect So I think we are done from here. Our plantain and pepper sauce is ready. And when we come back from this break, I'm going to be testing this and giving you my honest review about this particular delicacy. guys and the moment of truth is here but before we go into that i have a surprise for you <laughs> sorry i didn't tell you guys about um our visitor but she's here now Hafni, introduce yourself please hey guys my name is Hafni. babe where have you been i've been around now <laughs> huh, did you fly out or something i don't get i didn't go anywhere uh -uh. it's been like six months since you came on the show yeah yeah yeah, yeah. really i think it's more than six months yeah it's actually more than six months anyways welcome back so we have here plantain and pepper sauce so you know why you're here now? Of course, now Minister for Enjoyment. <laughs> it's only when there is food they call me. Of course, oh shit. Money so is looking so yummy. Like Aww. the aroma is banger. Thank it's, you. It's... Thank you. So this is boiled plantain okay. and peppered sauce in vegetable. Okay. So we'd like you to do us the honor of testing this and give us your honest review. <laughs> honest review about this. Oh yeah. Oh, Shoot. Say. <laughs> Thank God I didn't eat before coming. Uh huh. Foodie. <laughs> mm hmm. Honest review, please. <laughs> Foodie, I trust you. Let me go again. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Go again. Go again. As many times as you want. He's gonna get a chair. Let me see. <laughs> so, this, what this do you is, think? This is really, really nice. Like, Aww. it's giving me that kind of um, roadside roasted plantain. Oh my, oh my goodness! God. This is so nice. This is long I had something you. like this. Oh, really. thank you, thank you so, so much nice. for the review. I appreciate and thank you for coming on the show with us You're today. Welcome. Thank you so much. We missed you. I miss welcome you back. We hope to get more of your see more of your. Oh, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> okay. So help me on the scale of one to ten. Give us your honest review, please. <coughs> one to ten. Let me go one. Because <laughs> this thing is so nice. Like, okay. The feel pepper free, feel is free. peppery. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh my god. Thank you. So rate us, rate us. One to ten. Okay, I think I'll give this meal a two over ten. What? What? <laughs> what did you say? I know she's joking. Okay, okay. I was actually joking about that. Mm -hmm. I meant two plus ten. That's wow. Oh my god. Because this is god. a banger. Like it's Thank so you. nice. Like thank you. 
if you can actually make this at night, like when you mm -hmm. crave, when you're craving for that roadside yes. plantain and yes, sauce, yes, and actually. you can just do this at home and uh, it's it's very nice. Thank like, you I like so it. much. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. guys, you've heard from Hofni. So this is something you can actually try at home. Very easy, cost friendly, of course. So until we come your way again next time, I remain your humble host, Blue. Please don't forget to like us on all our social media platform showing on your screen right now till we come your way again next time bye for now